friends welcome to easy and home style cooking i am mrs ragini today i am going to share a kachori recipe my husband has already showed you couple of kachori recipes kachoris are very very simple to make dear friends instead of getting a store bought kachori you can make it instantly in your house by stuffing it with different ways Today I am going to stuff some spicy spicy urad dal and we are going to make this kachori. Kachori you know the dough is very very simple just take some maida that is all purpose flour add some oil or you know you can just make a nice soft dough and you can stuff with n varieties and make a kachori. So today as I told you I am using some urad dal here I have the urad dal which I soaked it for 30 minutes and this urad dal we are going to stuff it in our kachoris so first add some oil very little of oil not too much and we are going to add this urad dal remove all the excess water if you have water in your urad dal then we cannot make it so just remove all the excess water and we are going to saute this for a minute or two minutes till this becomes nice and dry in this we are going to add chili powder, some coriander powder, some cumin powder, all masalas you can add whichever masala you want you can add, some turmeric and some armchur powder and saute this. See this has become nice and dry, add some salt also and we are going to make a kachori and we are going to have it just like that so always be careful whenever you are adding salt. And in the last we are going to add some garam masala also. This is optional. If you want you can add otherwise you can skip. Squeeze in some lime juice for some more of sanas if you want or otherwise you need not you know use this. This is also optional. Saute this and our mixture is ready. Just switch off the flame and keep this aside. And now we are going to make our dough. So to make the dough here I have the all purpose flour, add some all purpose flour, very little of salt and also some oil or even you can use a butter or ghee also and mix this nicely. And we are going to make this a nice soft dough by adding some water. So friends here you can see I mix the oil nicely into this flour mixture and this has become nice crumble crumble. Now we are going to add water, first very little, as I told you we need to make a soft dough. So friends here you can see I have mixed the dough with little bit water and now we are going to rest this for 5 to 10 minutes and then we are going to make our kachoris that too with urad dal. Dear friends after 10 minutes of resting our dough here you can see this is nicely rested and just switch on your oil also to deep fry and take a small portions and we are going to first stuff this you know how you stuff your for parathas the same way take your mixture put it in the center if you want you can roll the dough also and seal it you can either make it into walls or flat you know like this it should be nice and thick and your oil should not be too hot otherwise this will fry fast outside and inside it won't get color so always put it in very very slow flame you know whichever size you want you can make today i'm just making small small kachoris if you want a big kachori if you, you can make a big kachori also just spread it with your hands take the stuffing and seal it with your hands itself press this and now this goes into our oil the oil is not too hot one more now we are going to reduce the flame into very very slow flame and we are going to fry this till we get a nice golden color so friends here you can see in a very very slow flame this takes you know 10 minutes to deep fry because this is nice and thick and we want this to be nicely cooked inside and outside so that when you have this kachoris it should not be you know the dough inside it should deep fry nicely so now after 6 to 7 minutes of slow 
frying I have just increased my flame to little bit high so that we will get the color outside also and you can see this has puffed up little bit not too much if you want too much of puffness you can add very little of soda into you know the mixture and then you can stuff it this will puff up little bit this has been perfectly puffed up dear friends and another two minutes i think i can remove the kachoris you can make it whichever sizes you want i made couple of sizes so here i have one small kachori wow i think i can switch off the flame and you can see this has got nice golden color put it in a paper towel or you know you can just rest it for some time and then if you have it this will be nice and crispy and nice masala masala inside you cannot have this hot hot so always let this sit for some time and then you can have this kachoris it should not be too hot it should be a little bit warm then you can enjoy the kachoris so friends i'm going to just rest this and then i'm going to have it so friends here you can see our stuffing has spread nicely to our dough see and a nice layer this has puffed up mm the same way how we get it in the store these are much more better than you know the store bought because and we made it fresh and the oil is fresh and the ingredients are fresh this won't take much time you know totally it took just 20 minutes to get an excellent kachoris so dear friends please make it at your home fresh food and feed your family fresh like this I love kachoris. You know, this is my childhood's favorite favorite recipe. One of my uncle always used to get it for me in Hyderabad from Charminar because he used to stay there and he used to get always this kachoris and the Usmania biscuits when I was a kid. Dear friends, if you have any memory, please share with us and also 